Hey everyone, so today I'm going to be doing just a casual vlog because I haven't done that in a super long time where I just talk to you guys about things happening on this side of the camera. And I'm in my second year of university. That means harder subjects, second year subjects, I'm majoring in finance and marketing, so I'm doing commerce. And now portfolio and securities, but also the marketing side where I'm learning about consumers and target markets. Otherwise in beauty, I'm actually now a beauty columnist, which is really exciting because I've never written for a magazine before. I'm writing now for Meld Magazine, which is an online international student magazine for people in Melbourne. So that's really, really exciting. It's not for profit, so I don't get paid for any of it, but it's really good experience to be able to write in a magazine and to get photographers and to do makeup with some people because I've never really done that. I've always done the look and then taken pictures by myself but now I actually get photographers to do it for me and I get an editor who edits my work and it's awesome. So if you want to check me out I actually have the link below where I have written my first article for Meld Magazine and that's just basically talking about my experiences with makeup, how I started. Pretty short so do take time to read it. I'd really like if you support me. But my next article is going to be about a makeup series. So I'm doing foundation powder basics for that magazine. It's online. It's all totally free. So go check it out if you have time. I just feel really happy because my dream and the whole big scheme of things is to one day make my own magazine. My own beauty magazine, consumer beauty magazine. I've been featured in a magazine, I've been featured in IS magazine, and now I'm finally writing for a magazine, but hopefully one day I can make my own magazine. And just like Shane Dawson, which is awesome, I love his videos. I mean, everyone watches his videos, but just like Shane Dawson wants to make a TV show, I really support him in that because he puts in so much effort I one day want to make a beauty magazine in the big scheme of things. In this video, I'm also going to show you a few Bobbi Brown items that I picked up. And it's actually my first Bobbi Brown haul ever because I've never really gone interested into Bobbi Brown until now. And the whole reason why is because I really looked into the brand and I like what they're doing. I like how they're supporting women. A lot of makeup products out there or makeup companies focus on makeup artistry like MAC or Makeup Forever. They're focusing on makeup artistry for theater, TV shows. I'm more of a person who likes saying makeup. I like makeup because it helps empower women and gives women or people in general confidence about themselves and makes them feel powerful. And I really like that about makeup because I know that if you know if you were to ask some of my friends in high school or even my peers in high school, they would never know that I'm doing sort of a beauty channel because I was never into wearing makeup. I was never Miss Beauty Queen. As you'll see in the article in Mel Magazine, I was never Miss Beauty Queen. And this whole thing about makeup in general, how people view makeup as sort of like superficial and fake and everything, I just think it's really stupid because they don't know the other side of makeup. Makeup isn't just to make you look good for other people. It's about investing in yourself and making you feel powerful and confident as a person. Even though you might be putting something on your skin or yourself, as long as you feel good about it and as long as you feel powerful, there should be nothing wrong with it. And I don't like, you know, guys who are like, oh, I like my girls makeup free and all natural. Well, screw that because honestly, if it makes your girlfriend feel better that she's wearing makeup, then let her wear it. It's not all about boys, it's about yourself. If you want to do something, then do it. I want you to just do it because you only have one life and, and, yeah. So I bought a few things from Bobbi Brown. The first thing I got was the Bobbi Brown Makeup Manual. This is a book that I've actually always been eyeing on, but I never really got to buying it. Number one, it's super expensive. But number two, well, for me at least, number two is that I always thought the Bobbi Brown Makeup Manual would be sort of like an advertisement for Bobbi Brown products, which I really didn't want. But Upon looking on this, really scanning in through, through this, I really like this book because it is a really good makeup manual by Bobbi Brown, but they're not advertising their products like I thought they would be. Of course, they're using Bobbi Brown makeup, but they're really giving you in-depth explanations to how you would apply makeup, just like the color chart for eyebrows. They give you tips on you know, special occasions like bridal. See? See, this, this compact could easily say, you know, Bobbi Brown makeup on it, but it doesn't. And it just shows you how you would apply powder. I mean, they do use the brushes and everything, but it's not an advertisement, which I really, really love about it. This isn't just a book for me. This isn't just a book where I can learn. It actually means a lot to me. This this sort of book means a lot to me because it, it reminds me of how one day I hope to make a magazine and I hope to make it the way Bobbi Brown has sort of made this Bobbi Brown makeup manual in the way that it's so friendly and it's so, you know, it just... 
it just boasts friendliness and it's informative at the same time. And I love the layout of the pictures as well. It's beautifully laid out. I just love it. So this face, there's like, I can't really hold it up because I'm not very good at it. But it teaches use a foundation powder. I mean, I know most of the stuff that's in here, but just to have something in your hands is what counts because most of the stuff that I learned are either through my own experience or through online sources. So having one of these in my hands feels really, really good. Another thing that I also picked up from Bobbi Brown is Skin Foundation, which is actually one of Bobbi Brown's most famous foundations and what they're known for. This skin foundation is basically supposed to cover your flaws while looking like natural skin. And the weird thing about this is that at the counter when you sort of apply the foundation onto your hand, it comes out really watery, so you kind of doubt its coverage. But I applied it yesterday and I really like the coverage on this. It's actually high to medium coverage, but it feels like skin, so you feel like you're not actually wearing makeup at all, which is something a lot of makeup brands strive for. So they have something really good going on for this foundation, and I'm glad I picked it up. It's five hours of work for me to pick this up, so it better be worth it. I have to say that it is. So that's my Bobbi Brown haul. It's only two items. Bobbi Brown is very expensive, especially in Australia, so I can't like do a MAC haul or you know that sort of thing because already two items for Bobbi Brown would be like five items for MAC. I do really want to support Bobbi Brown though in empowering women because that's also why I'm kind of doing a channel is to channel you guys to feeling more confident about yourself. Although you might not feel as confident as you are without makeup on, if you walk out the door and you feel good about yourself, that's what I want from you guys because I want you to feel good about yourselves. It really means a lot to me that you do. Another foundation that I picked up was the Revlon Color Stay Makeup with Soft Flex. Mine's actually in Fresh Beige. Really, really like this foundation. I'm actually using it now. Look how flawless that is. That is superbly flawless. I really like this foundation because it's great in all aspects. It's just a really good foundation. One of the best foundations I have ever used, no joke. And the thing about this is that pricing is actually in Melbourne, in Australia in general. They're having $10 off of all the Revlon foundations, so this is actually a really good time to go out and pick out your own color stay, Revlon color stay. And I totally recommend this. The only downside I can come up with is that it oxidizes because when I put it on my hand, you can see a little oxidation mark, which means that you might want to pick a shade lighter than what you actually swatch at the store. You can see that's a lot lighter, but comes out fine, matches my neck, so that's all good in the hood. That's my little vlog, sort of casual vlog, it wasn't very casual with it. But yeah, that's my sort of vlog, and I hope you have a wonderful day. Go out, have fun. I'll see you guys later. Bye!